this is pretty interesting. Play with and learn from dozens of robots. That's what your kids and you can do at the Boone Shop Museum. Rhonda Moore is there with the new exhibit. Good morning. Right now I am at the mobile robot station and I am trying to move this robot along with the light and doing an okay job right here. Joining me now is Blair Bardish and she is with the Boone Shop. Okay, so can you explain this one exhibit right here. These robots have sensors on them. They both have distance sensors, so they, when they get close to something, they don't run into it. And they also have light sensors on them, so you can kind of corral them by using the light sensor. And so if you get it real close, you can kind of get them to do figure eights and curly cues and things like that. How many different stations do you have here? We have over 22 stations here in this Robots and Us exhibit. This is a great foundation for kids that are learning how to work with robots in young age, as we see here. We've got some preschoolers using the robots and uh, it's just a great way for them to learn the robotic base of everything around them because so much stuff that we use today has robotic um, components inside it. I would imagine it's kind of easy for the little kids to pick up. Oh, it's so easy. They know exactly what to do. They just, you know, pick it up and it's intuitive. Now explain some of the other stations besides this one here. There's some popular robots that you can use that um, kids play with a lot, like Furby or Robo Dog. We also have some facial recognition. We have a robot that speaks back to you. It tries to get you to think that it is a human. We also have pieces from robotics in everyday life that kids might be used to, like uh, data from Star Trek. So what's the reaction been? Oh, so far it's been really good. It's got a lot of interactive pieces, and kids just love getting all the hands on with it. Sounds good. Now, if you would like to come check out the exhibit, Robots and Us, it is here at the Boonshoff Museum of Discovery in Dayton, now through January 4th. And we'll be back at 8.05, and we'll be playing on another station. Back to you guys. A new exhibit offering dozens of hands-on stations. Rhonda Moore's been uh, checking some of them out. She's at the Boonshoff Museum. Good morning. Right now we're at the station called Making Faces, and I'm trying to see if the computer will actually recognize my face. This is Blair Bartich, and she's with the Boone Shop. So this exhibit is uh, using face de detection technology, and this is similar to the things that we find in uh, our digital cameras. Even on Facebook, Facebook can now identify where the faces are in your picture. The green block around your face, that means what? That means that it identifies your face. It sees both uh, eyes, nose, and mouth. So if you uh, try to block your mouth. It might not pick up on your face anymore. If you put on a pair of big glasses or a mustache, it has trouble recognizing your face because the mustache is covering your mouth. Okay, so right now it's not recognizing my face. Yeah, so there it goes. Okay, now it recognizes me. It might uh, perceive your mustache as a very big mouth. <laughs> some have said that. All right, so, <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and try some glasses on and see if it recognizes me like this. It's picking up your face a little bit. Um, so basically it can still recognize you, but it just may take a little while to recognize you if you have on glasses or something else, right? Exactly. So what are you trying to get kids to see with this? Then? We're trying to show them how the robotics works, what the computer looks for. So basically we have to program it with a simple algorithm, and then once that algorithm is met, it will identify the face. So while robotics can be very complicated, they run off very simple principles. I would imagine the kids really like this exhibit. Oh, they love this exhibit. I mean, anything where they're on camera, they think they're movie stars, so they, you know, they want to be on the camera. But then and they also get to see how the computer works as I, well. I can understand that about being on camera, being a movie star. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, if you would like to come and check out the exhibit Robots and Us, it is here at the Boonshelf Museum of Discovery in Dayton, now through January the 4th. And we'll be back at 8.50, and we're going to be making a robot. Back to you guys. An interactive exhibit at the Boone Shop has a lot of hands-on features. It might be geared toward younger kids, but Rhonda Moore says others will like it too. Good morning. Right now I'm in the leg lab and I'm assembling a robot. And this is just one of the stations here at the exhibit. And joining me now is Blair Bardich and she is with the Boone Shop. Okay, all right, I'm having a little trouble with this. <laughs> but go ahead and tell me a little bit about this station right here. Kids are able to take the robots and they can use the legs and try to make it work in different ways. They can put them all at the same height. They can have some of the legs a little bit higher to work like a kind of like a hip joint. This is a great way for kids to just kind of explore and have a trial and error testing period. 
<laughs> okay, I'm having a little difficult time. The kids could probably do it better than me. This exhibit is appropriate for really all ages. The target range is from about three to about 10, but there is lots of stuff for kids to work on. Even the young kids really can just kind of get hands on with this. And the older, the adults, the parents, there's lots of things to read, to learn about. Uh, and I learned new stuff from this exhibit. What made you guys decide that you wanted to bring this exhibit here from Minneapolis, was it? Yes, yes, from Minnesota. Because robotics is such a great part of, of society now. And it's also a great hands-on exhibit. We wanted something that kids could really get their hands dirty with and have fun with. They can use a robotic arm and test themselves to see if they can beat the time on the puzzle. They can see uh, different ways that scientists have used nature to influence robot design. And they can also see some of the robots that they know. There's robots from the Jetsons and from Star Trek and Star Wars and things like that. Sounds good. Now, if you would like to come check out the exhibit, Robots and Us, it is here at the Boonshoff Museum of Discovery in Dayton, now through January 4th. Look, I got it to work. Back to you guys. Just goes to show you're never too old to have a lot of fun with robots. It does look, I, I think I would enjoy it. Yeah, all kids of all ages, and that includes adults, right? <laughs>